All right, guys, so once you have a, a base level of strength, you are balanced from left to right, front to back, head to toe, we then look to obviously challenge your power. We, 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 want, we take everyone that we work with through a couple of simple power-based um, drills just to, to give them an idea of what it looks like, what power feels like, and what their landing ability looks like, and how powerful they actually are left to right. Okay, so for us, we're gonna be looking at the broad jump. Why, is, why do we do this? Because we're looking, you, you, not only should you have the strength, you should have the ability to absorb force through your joints. Because this is the, the, the safest way of, of us knowing that you guys can then go out and run, can jump, can perform your sports, your hobbies, your activities without injuring yourself again. So any of you with knee pain, back pain, once you are looking to then get over that injury with obviously strength exercises, then we go into those power-based movements, okay? So the broad jump is where we start first. All right, so we're looking at that power. We're looking from, from jumping from a line to a line. We're trying to jump as far as we can, taking that nice quarter squat position, and then we're gonna use our arms and legs to draw, jump as far as we can. So one, two, three. And guys, that distance, how far is far enough? Guys, you should be able to jump your own body height. Okay, that is a standard that we look for. So when it comes to the broad jump, we're looking to be able to jump your own height. Single leg hop, same principle, but we're using one leg, standing on the one leg. We're looking to explode through the one leg, jump, land it, stick it. And what does that distance look like? Our standard to start with, you should be able to jump, single leg hop, at least half your distance. Okay, so left and right, I want you to go away, try the double jump first. What does your landing look like, feel like? Can you jump your own body height? These are the things that you should be screening, looking at, because this is gonna give you a real idea, a clear idea, especially when you go to the single leg hop, left and right, as to what your balance, your coordination, your power, expression of power feels like through those legs. It's gonna give you a really good idea as to whether you're ready to go out and start doing a bit more plyometric-based work, and potentially getting back into your sports and activities that you love.